Let's say you really want to hit growth hormone. The biggest effects of sauna on growth hormone, and they are big effects, are when the sauna is only done once per week, but it's done in four cycles or sets, we could say, of 30 minutes each. So that means 30 minutes in the sauna, then a five minute break, just air cooling off or 10 minute break, then back into the sauna for 30 minutes. This is brutal. Then again in the afternoon, 30 minutes in the sauna, then 10 minutes just air cooling off and then back into the sauna for 30 minutes. So that's two hours at 187 to 212 degrees in one day in one day with a maximum of what less than sort of 20 minutes of rest in between those little sessions then the big rest in between so you have to be very careful right heat can kill you you got to hydrate you need to make sure you get enough salt like it i mean this is this is work and that raises a more interesting question perhaps which is why is it that this two hour protocol really works if you do it once a week to increase growth hormone it's because it's a stressor and certain stressors increase growth hormone 